Hey guys, welcome to another lecture from Basic Statistics. Today we will talk about measures of variability for any sample data. What are the measures of variability? Now, variability ka matlab kya hai? In general, variability would mean that how dispersed are the values in your sample. Okay, so the simplest mode of figuring out the measure of variability is called range. What is range? Range is the difference between the largest and the smallest sample values. It's the simplest way of looking at the data. But of course, it has some disadvantages. Now, what happens from this? You don't know the values of the beach values. अब मान लीजिए किसी डेटा सेट में आपके पास वैल्यूज हैं वन टू से लेके टेन एंड देन यू हैव एन आउटलायर हंड्रेड तो डिफरेंस जब आप देखेंगे द रेंज दैट यू विल सी द स्मॉलेस्ट इज वन द बिगेस्ट इज हंड्रेड रेंज बिकम्स हंड्रेड माइनस वन दैट इज नाइनटी नाइन बट डज इट मेक सेंस विद दिस डेटा सेट नो सो दिस इज अ मेजर ड्रॉबैक major disadvantage with range is that it depends only on you know two most extreme values in the data set and disregards the position of remaining n minus 2 values in case your data has n values in total so when we are trying to find out variability we are more interested in the deviation from the mean hum ye dekhna chahte hain ki har value jo hai data set ki wo mean se kitna different hai right so we would consider x1 minus x bar x2 minus x bar so on and so forth n agar mere paas observations hai till xn minus x bar ye hum dekhenge so from individual differences hum kya keh sakte hain measure kya hona chahiye measure could be the average of this the average of these deviations right अब डिविएशन से किस टाइप की हैं? अगर मान लीजिए योर एक्स आई इज लेस देन एक्स बार सो एक्स आई माइनस एक्स बार विल बी नेगेटिव इफ एक्स आई इज मोर देन एक्स बार देन एक्स आई माइनस एक्स बार विल बी पॉजिटिव राइट नाउ इफ वी एवरेज देम तो क्या होगा सो एवरेज ऑफ we want to find out the average for xi minus x bar so that's going to be summation xi minus x bar whole thing upon there are n observations so upon n right so here i goes from 1 to n but this is a very bad idea let's look at the numerator consider summation xi minus x bar if you consider this what's going to happen so this will become summation x i i goes from 1 to n minus x bar is just a value so you are adding it like n times because it's a summation from i from 1 to n so this will be n x bar now do you understand what is summation x i actually because summation x i upon n is actually x bar what is x bar average right so average of all these x i's so summation x i upon n is x bar therefore summation x i is actually n x bar so therefore this is nothing but n times x bar minus n times x bar gives you zero yes the numerator is zero think about it hoga kya jab aap एवरेज सब्ट्रैक्ट कर रहे हैं फ्रॉम एक्साइज दैन यू समिट अप यू विल एक्चुअली गेट जीरो क्योंकि कहीं पे पॉजिटिव आएगा कहीं पे नेगेटिव आएगा वेन यू समिट अप द डिफरेंस फ्रॉम द मीन जीरो बन जाएगा दिस विल ऑलवेज हैपन सो दिस इज नॉट अ वेरी गुड मेजर इसमें तो कोई मेजर बन ही नहीं पा रहा ना वेरिएबिलिटी का सो देर फॉर दे केम अप विद सम मोर मेजर्स नाउ दीज मेजर्स बींग one such measure being uh, summation mod x i minus x bar upon n because plus minus se problem ho rahi thi to absolute value le lete hain right but this becomes a little you know modulus has its own uh, problems also so calculation mein ye zyada kuch problem kar sakta tha to isliye the measure for variability generally is taken as the sample variance अब ये सैंपल वेरिएंस क्या है 
instead of taking the absolute value, they thought that let's square the values and take it. So, squared differences liye. Sample variant S square is given by summation xi minus x bar whole square upon n minus 1. I will talk about why n minus 1. But basically, this is the average of the squared differences. And that is taken as the variance. Now, variance, this is squared differences. If we are talking about xi, then I don't want squared values. I want standard deviation. I just want deviation. So, standard deviation is the square root of this sample variance. To understand the rationale behind why we are dividing by n minus 1, there are two things that I will tell you. First of all, before getting there, you need to understand that like you have sample variance, sample variance S square, which we derive from the sample. Similarly, if you have the entire population data, so you can also find out population variance and that's denoted as sigma square, right? So when you will take population variance, assuming that the mean of the population is mu, population variance sigma square will be basically summation xi minus mu whole square upon if say there are n entries capital n that we generally take i goes from 1 to capital n this is what will be sigma square now most often of course mu is something that we do not know right since mu is something that we do not know be very careful here you will be dividing by n only when it comes to population variance you do not divide by n minus 1 soon you will understand what i'm trying to tell you here now, the way we use x bar as an estimator to make some inferences about mu, because mu in general, we don't know mu, right, for a population. Similarly, s square, that is sample variance, is used in order to make certain infer inferences about sigma square. Now, in this, just try to think, agar aapko mu pata hi hoga, if you knew what your population mean is. So, sigma square ke liye mujhe s square ki zaroor thi nahi padegi. Sigma square mein seedhe xi minus mu upon uh, and squaring that upon n karke nikal lungi, right? But in general, mu is not known and that is the reason why you use sample variance in order to make certain inferences about population variance. So, mu in general is never known. So, in the process of uh, figuring out variability, the sum of square deviations about x bar instead of mu, because mu to hai nahi, must be used. That's the reason why we use the divisor n minus 1. Q. Q key. X size tend to be closer to their average X bar. Aapne sample liya, to jo X size hai, sample mean ke zada pass honge compared to the population mean, kyunki population mein to sara ka sara aapne data set de liya na. Now, in order to compensate for this, we use N minus 1 rather than N. For a simple reason, if I will use N, if I divide by N, I will be underestimating sigma square. So, to compensate for that underestimation, we divide by n minus 1. Because the difference is hai, xi minus x bar, because xi's are generally closer to x bar, the difference is thode kam kam aayenge. In case I had mu, to is sari problem hi nahi hoti. Lekin, since we don't have mu, you divide by n minus 1 to avoid this underestimation. This is one explanation for this. There's another explanation when we are talking about and why we are dividing by n minus 1. Something called degrees of freedom should come to your mind. So, what is this? What is this notion of degrees of freedom? Let me give you an example and let's understand it. Degrees of freedom, this terminology actually reflects S square. S square, which is based on uh, n 
क्वांटिटीज एन क्वांटिटीज क्या है ये एन क्वांटिटीज क्वांटिटीज आर द एन डिफरेंसेस एक्स वन माइनस एक्स बार एक्स टू माइनस एक्स बार सो वन एंड सो फोर्थ राइट एंड वी नो दैट द सम ऑफ दीज मैंने अभी कैलकुलेट किया था सम ऑफ दीज इज इक्वल टू जीरो राइट बिकॉज द सम ऑफ ऑल दीज इज इक्वल टू जीरो फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू टेक एन इक्वल्स टू फोर एंड आई टेक वैल्यूज एक्स वन माइनस एक्स बार इज इक्वल टू एट एक्स टू माइनस एक्स बार इज इक्वल टू सिक्स एक्स फोर माइनस एक्स बार इज इक्वल टू माइनस फोर आई फ्रीली टेक दीज वैल्यूज ओके अगर मैंने ये सिर्फ तीन वैल्यूज ली है डोंट यू थिंक यू विल बी ऑटोमेटिकली एबल टू टेल वॉट विल बी एक्स थ्री माइनस एक्स बार एक्स थ्री माइनस एक्स बार विल टर्न आउट टू बी टू ऑटोमैटिकली क्यू बिकॉज द सम ऑफ एक्स वन माइनस एक्स बार एक्स टू माइनस एक्स बार एक्स फोर माइनस एक्स बार एक्स थ्री माइनस एक्स बार द सम इज जीरो तो अगर मुझे उसमें से तीन क्वांटिटीज पता है तो चौथी अपने आप निकल जाएगी दैट्स द रीजन सिंस वी आर टेकिंग थ्री फ्री वैल्यूज द डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम थ्री वैल्यूज आर डिटोमेंट फ्रीली सो degrees of freedom is 3 in this case which is basically 4 minus 1 that's another notion which can be uh, used to explain why we divide by n minus 1 we divide by n minus 1 because actually when you talk about the square differences the differences between xi and x bar if i take n minus 1 independent values the one left out value can can be found so therefore the degrees of freedom is n minus 1 and hence we divide by n minus 1 instead of I hope this will help you guys in understanding sample variance here. Thank you very much.